Hi, oh, my name's Jesse. I'm four years old. I like Spider-Man. This is my mom, Fortune. She makes everything. This is my sister, Tara. We make forts together. Tara is always nice to me. This is my dad. His name is Jimmy. He helps me with my homework. We moved here to Chicago when I was a baby. That was like long ago. My husband is still in Nigeria, so I'm here alone with the kids. We came here when Tara was almost three. Now she's seven. I call my kids my sweet darlings. Jesse is cool and calm. Tara is a sunbeam. <laughs> she's everyone's friend. We teach our kids to love and be kind. In Nigeria, my husband worked with a communication firm. We came here because it wasn't safe for me and my kids. So we had some kidnapping, so we had to leave. Immigration wasn't an easy process, but it was just what we needed at the time. We needed childcare to succeed here. Who can afford childcare in this country? I know we're not alone. I started looking for a place for my kids to go. That's when someone recommended the way house. Fortune is open, honest, and communicative. As their family advocate, my job is to connect the family with resources and inform them of programs that may be a benefit that could be anything from a food pantry to therapists and doctors, and in Fortune's case, early childhood education. We have hearing and vision screening, and that's how we found that Jesse was in need of glasses, so now he wears glasses, they're nice and blue. Fortune is, I can tell that she's very involved with her family. They have each other's backs because of how even Tara takes care of Jesse. They are the perfect example of a family that utilizes services to thrive while giving back to the community. Bye! Bye. In our classroom, Jesse loves serving breakfast and lunch. He knows his alphabet and his numbers. He loves yoga and is engaged. His language skills are phenomenal, which we know he gets from his mom. She speaks four languages. His family is active and that helps him get the most out of the experience. Fortune is always ready to listen and respond to his needs. Having students like Jesse and his family is so important for our community. Early childhood education is the building blocks of an engaged citizen. Here we learn social emotional skills, how to work in a group, how to share, mindfulness, and self-soothing. Erie House has a unique approach with our families and work with certified therapists to help our little humans be ready for the big world. What early childhood education teachers are doing has a profound impact on children. The first five years of life, there's a lot of brain development happening. So you have the opportunity to just have amazing impact while the brain's still under construction. We use play to help them to express feelings, talk about or tell the story of something they have gone through in the past. We focus on safety and building relationships. It is a critical investment in our society that will pay forward. When we can help children see themselves as worthy and deserving, and they see the world as a place that supports them in their journey, it would solve all our problems. We are planting those seeds. Building a powerful community starts when we are little. It's absolutely important we continue to invest in early childhood education. Just on the west side of Chicago, in a single zip code, 2,418 children birth to age three are living below the poverty line. These families pay more than 30% of their income on rent alone. And while our families thrive despite these challenges, should they have to? If all families were able to enroll their children in early childhood education at the same rate as high income families, over time, our economic growth would increase 30%. On a national scale, that equates to billions of dollars we are losing out on. Turns out, investing in humans at an early age is good for everyone. That's why our work is so critical, because we have to empower, we have to educate, we have to encourage our families and, and advocate for them and make sure that they have the resources that they deserve I love school. I love my teacher. We play with cars and then I like yoga. I like to push up pose. I'm excited to go to school. One day I would like to have my own restaurant. I love cooking. I make Nigerian dishes, jollof rice, red goat stew, fried rice. 
I want to have a restaurant where everyone comes to eat and still have more. Everyone loves to connect over food and everyone deserves to sit at a table. I love Chicago. For me, Chicago is home. Yeah, I like the fact that people are allowed to be themselves. At home, we pray as a family. We read stories for our kids every night, no matter how tired we are. We are so grateful to Erie for helping us be successful here. And we want to see more families like ours benefit. Join us at the table. Save the seat for you. Sanu 